We did something a little bit different today. We've cruised north to a different flea market. This one only happens once a month. So we're really interested to go and check this one out. None of us had ever been to it. I met up with Jax, Jamie was there as well. And we basically went sourcing a completely different location, which is always fun. So I'm gonna roll the footage of that. We then went back to Carrara Markets, our usual hunting ground, and we dove into a few more really cool grabs there too. So should make for a really cool video. Let's dive into the footage and I'll show you what I'm picking up to sell onto eBay. How are you going? How much on the hats? Five dollars each. Five each? Yeah. Yeah, nice. I'll take the two hats for ten. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. All the Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. Geez, that looks a good one. A couple of us had graded, actually. You got a Pikachu 9. Mm -hmm. What's that worth? I got 80 on that one, I got 100 on that one. 80 and 100. Well, mate, if you're doing uh, if you're doing two bucks on the clothing, yep. you've got a deal there. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be. Um, I mean, hopefully the overcast though is yeah, going to yeah, be. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Make it a little bit easier. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, the, the baking sun really Race takes it out of you. Yeah, absolutely, and an early start for you too. Oh, mate. You should have seen them. Yeah. Lined up up around the corner there. There's so many cars. At 20 to 5. Yeah. We've lined up there. There's bloody everywhere. Unbelievable. Uh, oh, best of luck today. Thank you. Yeah. And then yeah. menswear would just be all of this, what you had up top. Yeah. Yeah. It's more female. Yeah. All good. All right. Well, yeah, I'll definitely take the Holden top off you. Oh, lovely. Hey, yeah, well, don't mind the cars. Yeah. The car racing, yeah. That's a nice one though. It, it literally is. hasn't been worn, so. No, it hasn't been worn. Yeah, it's a beauty. I'll take that one. Have you had many come through so far? No. I think it's gonna build up throughout the day though. It's too. Yeah, it's been super hot of late. I haven't got any bags. No, no, I've got one here, that's fine. Cool. Thank you very much, Thank guys. You. Appreciate it. Hey guys. Hello. How are we? So these definitely caught my eye, the Phantom comic books. So I'm slowly looking for these more and more, but at $10 each, the price was a little higher. The best comps I was seeing on eBay were around $30 to $35. So still some pretty good return. I could have almost done a bundle deal here, but in the end, I did leave them alone. He wasn't too, I guess, willing to negotiate on price with this one. Genuine? How much on the shoes, mate? These ones? Um, hey, Mark. No. Ten? Um, yeah, I'm yeah. 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 Oh, I'll keep having a dig, mate. So. Uh, seven years. Oh, man. No, it's like six years there, dear. Yeah. Six. Uh, I don't know. If, yeah. No nah, conditions just too good. I reckon. Look at those air maxes. Small are they? Six years or something. Yeah. Look like that. So I think they're tied on the side. Because that doesn't look like a six years. No. Yeah, no, mind me then. <laughs> Beauty. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Thanks, boys. Uh, you need four? Yeah. Oh. How are you, mate? Good, thanks. How are you? Not too bad. What do we got here? What is it? It's a CD player. It's a CD player. No, um, no VCRs? No, no, I don't, sorry. Ah, no worries. So I don't typically pick up hard goods like electronics that you're seeing here at flea markets because you can never really rely on if they're going to work or not. But there were some pretty cool items that this guy had. The VCRs are always the one that I'm typically looking for if I am going to be purchasing. Uh, but out of everything that he had, it was best, even with his price points, to just let them go. How's it been so far, mate? Um, not too good, to be honest. No. Um, it's quiet. Uh, I the shoes... Picked up a little cord here for the PSP. 
Hopefully that works. So you just got the PSP before that, didn't you? Yeah, you just got the PSP before with a couple of games. Yeah. It seems a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's already back at the car, but um, uh, hopefully it charges up. Even if it doesn't, we'll make our money back on the games. So. And some shoes. Yeah, a couple of shoes. Nothing too great, but. Yeah, it's been slow. It's only hot for There's plenty of stalls around, though. Anyway. Just going to keep on digging. Thank you, Well, six for ten sounds better. <laughs> you see it once, you'll see it all the time. Would you do three for three for five? There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> exactly right. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Cool docks. Sorry? They're cool. Yeah, yeah, they're not the size that they said they were though. Oh, is that right? Yes. What size are they? Yeah, well, they, when they, because they said they were like that, and I thought they were like it's Australian and it wasn't. It was, you know, as you can see. So, they're it, a little bit big for my foot. Are they a US? Um, yeah, 12. They're a men's US 12. Yes. Right. Yes, and I missed, mistook the numbers. Oh, I and see. I, I paid for them now, you know, it just becomes my problem. So yes. I just inside them, I just know. Yeah. <laughs> sitting in the crate out the back. They have, haven't they? Yeah, but they've, like, had bugger all use. I mean, I tried them on and realised they're never going to fit me in a million years. My son wore them to work one day. Right? One day at work. Yes, that's yeah. all they've had. They are in pretty good condition, aren't they? Yeah. What would be your best price on them? Uh, my best price, I'd say, 60 bucks that we get. I paid, of, I paid 100 bucks for them. Paid 100, did you? Yeah. Let me have a quick think. Yep. Hey, Matt. We love your channel. Oh, love your channel hey guys, how are we? Yeah, yours too. How are you going? Yeah, good. Oh, I got the uh, got the camera rolling at the minute. How are we? Yeah, not nice too bad. To nice to meet you too. How's it been this morning? Oh, we just got here. We Did just you? got here. Yeah. Have you been in this one before? Yeah, we've been twice. It's never been this big though. Yeah, no, this is huge. Yeah, yeah it was only like four aisles. So no, it's not when hard. I saw them all teaming in, we got here pretty early and we saw all the cars lining yeah, up. Yeah. Like, wow, this could be um. Could be pretty full on. Yeah, cool. Have you found any good stuff? A couple of things, not not a heap, just some shoes and clothes. But um, Carrara Markets, we just do really well at. Oh, we, yeah. we just keep going there every Sunday. But nice. we thought we'd give this a go, being once a month. But yeah, cool. Just I hope worth you find checking some out. More stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> good to meet you good guys. Meet you. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. We'll be watching the camera. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, guys. See you soon. Hello there. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, really well. You? How much on your shoes? Um, five. Five, okay. Apart from the boots that are at the front, the walking boots. Oh, yeah? 20 bucks. 20 on the boots at the yeah. front. Do you know what brand they are at, over there? Um, I don't know, but I know it had a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are. Oh, my God. You can have both. Sure. Yep, yeah, go for it. Um, we've, we've, um, yeah. They were my sons. He's now just... About yeah. He just grew out them. We only bought them twice. Oh, so they're slightly smaller size, yeah, are they? Yeah, size eight. Size eight. Is it good for now? Or is it two hundred? That's what it is. How much did you say on those? Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can see. I'll, them I'll take those for five. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't have any sporting gear, does he? Any jerseys or anything? Um, men. Yeah. Not really. Not really? That's alright, I had to ask. He's a runner. But he's a runner? He's a runner. Good on him. He, um, there you go. Yeah, he's nothing really. Things like that. Yeah. Footwear. Yep. Merrills and stuff because he walks on roofs. They're a nine and a half. Oh, does he? He needs good shoes like, um, so it's always running shoes and things like that. The hiking sort of a shoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, the Merrills are great. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, they are legitimate North Face ones. Yeah. No, they're good. Yeah, 100% nylon. They cut off into little shorts too. Yeah, they but, got uh, the zip-offs. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, they're a good pair. I wouldn't even know if they're men's or women's, but... I think they might be women's. Yeah. Just on the bottom of the leg, maybe. I have, I have one, but... I feel, they could be unisex too, you know. Have so much too. Yeah, dude. <laughs> nah, I hear you. Thanks, man.
Appreciate it. <laughs> now you can tell. Um, yeah, even in the middle. Yeah. yeah. So this first of all is yeah, NBA. Yeah. NBA store. I mean that's that's genuine, but the jersey yeah, isn't. The jersey isn't. Yeah. <laughs> it looks very. It looks, it looks very. very good, isn't it? Yeah. Like that looks more genuine. See the L's really small. Yeah. That's a bit thicker. A bit like yeah. Pokemon cards. We're bucking in. Don't worry about us. Yeah. That's a very good. Yeah, on the jerseys? On the jerseys. Yeah. I was just going to say, that's exactly how I'd word it. Genuine knockoffs. <laughs> it's actually a pretty decent jersey, though. No, but they are, they are actually, like, from a fake perspective, they're pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's actually really bad. Genuine knock... No, they're not. That fake. Oh, uh, no, that one's... Yeah. That one might be genuine. That one might be. It's just that the... Um, the Although the stitching's pretty yeah, average. and it's got video on it. Yeah, look at the skewed um, embroidery. Mitchell and S don't do that. It's a pretty sick hat, though. Like, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to put it on eBay or anything. Dude, that is just cool. I don't know. Got a How much on the Walkman? 60 bucks. Yeah, good on ya. 60 on the Walkman. The boys have decided that, being a bit of a bust here, we've got some items. I've got about maybe, I don't know, seven or eight different items. I'll show you them a bit later, but we're gonna go back to Carrara Markets, which is where we normally go on a Sunday, and hopefully we can find a few more things there. So, this day's definitely not over, is it? Definitely not over. Jax is doing pretty well as well. Yeah, well, I'm probably the same as you, six or seven items, so yeah. hopefully we get some more Carrara. So, Carrara it is. We'll see you over there. Jax is just getting his brekkie sorted. Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice for the big man. Give us just a look. We're in. Have a look at that. It is currently 7.55 in the morning. <laughs> Jax is just loading up on his dates. chicken and rice. That's some dates as well. We've got, we've got to get the fibre in. Oh my goodness. All good. You don't get arms that big unless you're chewing on your chicken and rice <laughs> at 7 in the morning. <laughs> got a lot to learn. <laughs> Alright, Carrara it is. How much on the socks? Two bucks. I'll take those. That's fine. Canterbury. How much on the jerseys? Uh, this one. This um, one. I've got probably this. these two that I'm interested in, I think. Normally I sell five. This one, five dollars. Four for that? Yeah, four. That one, five. Okay. I'll give you 10 for these. Oh, thank you. Five and five. Thank you. Oh, that's a Nixon. That's a genuine Nixon watch. Oh, I used to have this. That's genuine. Yeah. It's got the quad, the quattro on the back. Full throttle. I don't know about watches. Eh? You can e that one. You can easily make watches. That's only because only because I had this. Yeah, you remember it? Yeah. Be interested to see what he had on it. How much on the Nixon, mate? No, I got Vivi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Up yeah. That's a, that's that's genuine. Ten percent. That's genuine, though. Ten percent of its worth. Thank you. Okay. Oh, really? How much they charge now? Go in and city beach and have a look. Yeah, because like. Started about two hundred and eighty up to three hundred and sixty for those. Bikes. Just needs a new battery, hey? Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah, ten bucks. Cost to put one in twenty yeah. tops. Yeah. I've got a bloke at Mount of that does mine. Oh, really? Uh, you see them in the shopping centres too, don't you? The battery. But this guy sits between the, the main market and the boot sale down the back in that little walkway between. Yep. And he's ten bucks or twenty bucks. For that's a battery. that's not too bad. Depends on the watch. Pay fifty all up. Ten dollars. <laughs> How much on the jeans, guys? Ten bucks. Yeah. 
The size of the jeans. In the front there. Oh, sorry. Length 32. Width 30. Okay. All right. And um, two for 15. Two for 15? Yeah, right. Let's do those. Thank you. All right, we're back at the car. Jamie's had to duck off, but we've got Jax with his haul. Um, look, pretty tough day in the end for us. Uh, we went to two different flea markets. Still a number of items here, Jax. What, yeah. have, you, what have you got? So probably the best ones out of them, I think, are these little Power Rangers ones. So these are the first ones I got, probably the first thing I actually got. I paid four bucks for them. They're Bandai 1993, yeah, and they're little, they're little heads turn over. Oh, that's the heads, cool. the heads come out, and they've got their little gun with them as well. So yeah, they still work. Look, I've checked comps on that at about twenty dollars a piece, maybe. Yeah. Um, I got some cool. games. I just paid ten bucks for those games. I think that that Need for Speed Carbon one's the best out of the lot. Maybe thirty-five bucks. Sick collectors. Yeah. Um, Matt told me to get this one. You don't see me. Yeah, Luke, John, Cena. John Cena. John Cena, the wrestler. So that one's um that one's about twenty-five bucks. And what'd you pay? Uh, see the WWE. Dollar. And it is the wrestling yeah, tag. Essential. Dollar on that, twenty-five, easy. Yeah. Uh, camera, Pentax camera. It's just one of these ones. You put the uh, the film in it. Oh, nice. Um, I paid seven bucks for that. I think maybe you know forty-five bucks. I can get back on that. Sweet. Bought the cards for myself. Always look out for cards for myself. Yu-Gi-Oh. Bit of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yep. Yeah, nice. Um, and uh, this looks like a little vintage, like Holden kind of. Holden does well. Um, what do you call it? Oh, that? it's a long, long sleeve too. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's 2003, cool. so not yet vintage, but yeah. old, older one. Not far away. Yeah, and then Transformer as well. Yeah, cool. Not complete though, because it's got a little bit there that it looks like you can put something in there. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, but I just paid five bucks for the two of those, so. You should get some money back yeah, on that. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Look, yeah, slim pickings. Slim pickings, but you've still come away with a fair few items, which is good, mate. Right, and this was my collection for the day. So it just slowly grew, but it's still quite a small run for what I would normally do. We've got the Holden Racing shirt here. Jax was just telling me that you found the Kmart versions for yep. 45. Yeah. Um, so we're going to hope for about 50 on this because it was um, maybe a little bit better than a Kmart version. Um, genuine Holden Racing team, so that was cool. Um, I've got this um, set of three, so it's a series, no retreat, no surrender. Um, that should go for about 30 bucks free postage because it's every single episode or, or movie. Um, I always find that John Claude Van Damme Whenever I see DVDs, that seems to comp up well. Um, I won't talk about the Brisbane Strikers because that was an absolute mare of a purchase. Um, but this was a good one here, um, the Kangaroos uh, AFL jersey. It's a size large and uh, it's got number 18 on the back as well. I'm not sure who's number 18 for the Roos at the moment, but that should be probably $60, I would say, off that. And that was a $7.50 purchase. Found some G-Star jeans um, in the second market that we jumped into. And these were in pretty good condition. Not exactly sure just yet, but it's the City Shields, the 3D Slim Tapers. They should go for maybe, G-Star's generally about 60 bucks. So we'll see if we can get that. These were some brand new with tags. So I was happy to pick these up. Um, I think I paid $10, $5 each, but I should be able to get 30 bucks a piece for those. Um, this here as well, Manchester United, it's not genuine. It's got the old Manchester United tag, but there's no way that's genuine. Um, but I'm still gonna pick it up because it was only $2 and I should be able to turn it into about 25 maybe 30 we'll see um when you're getting socks stance is a really good brand so there it is there um this was only two dollars stance is incredibly popular and um being brand new i should be able to get about 30 bucks for that and I only pay the two dollars and um some shoes you guys may or may not have heard about this brand i personally had it before la sportiva um gore-tex though that is what you want to look for and that's what caught my eye initially and then i did some searching on it and um i should be able to get about 80 dollars for those shoes so that was a really good get. Merrill's, you see me pick them up every single week. Just another one. And then some North Face. I think they were women's in the end. I only paid about $5, but they should turn into about $35. So, look, it was pretty quiet. I think overall, just a, a quiet day. But, hey, we've still got a few more items to sell. So there you go, guys. It was a little bit of a battle out there today to try and find a great items. We had to really sift and dig and negotiate and manage to come away with, well, 13 items and $69 worth of a spend. But I think they'll go on to make some really good money when we get it all put up and sold onto eBay. So hopefully you've enjoyed the episode today. I don't know if we'll be going back to that flea market that's held once a month. We might just stick to Carrara 
because uh, we generally do pretty well there. But uh, if you missed last week's episode of the flea market, here it is here for you guys to go and check out. My 30% clubbers that are still watching to the end of these videos, thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate the support. Look forward to catching you on Tuesday's video. See you soon.